In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. By the dawn, and the ten nights, and the even and the odd, and the night when it passes. Is all this not a sufficient oath for those who have sense? Did you not see how your Lord dealt with Ad, the people of Iram, with their great stature, unmatched in any other land? and Thamud who carved their homes into the rocks in the stone valley, and the pharaoh of mighty structures, they all transgressed throughout the land, spreading much corruption there. So your Lord unleashed on them a scourge of punishment, for your Lord is truly vigilant. Now, whenever a human being is tested by their Lord through his generosity and blessings, they boast, My Lord has deservedly honored me. But when he tests them by limiting their provision, they protest, My Lord has undeservedly humiliated me. Absolutely not. In fact, you are not even gracious to the orphan. Nor do you urge one another to feed the poor and you devour others' inheritance greedily, and love wealth fervently. Enough! When the earth is entirely crushed over and over, and your Lord comes to judge with angels rank upon rank, and hell is brought forth on that day, this is when every disbelieving person will remember their own sins. But what is the use of remembering then? They will cry, I wish I had sent forth something good for my true life. On that day he will punish them severely, like no other, and bind them tightly, like no other. Allah will say to the righteous, O tranquil soul, return to your Lord, well pleased with him and well pleasing to him. So join my servants, and enter my paradise.